If you've just started to learn Python programming, I'm quite sure that you're not using virtual environments. And to be honest with you, when I was starting out, I wouldn't use them either. And this is fine if you're just learning super basic stuff and not using external packages. But believe me, from experience, virtual environments are gonna save you a lot of headaches down the road. So let's see how to create them and use them. So let's say that I'm building a project and I want to create a virtual environment just for that project, okay? So here I've got the folder and the terminal inside this code, but you can do that from the terminal, from the Windows command prompt, PowerShell, whatever, okay? Okay, so to create a virtual environment, you just need to write this. So Python and module, then, which is the built-in module for the virtual environments, and then the name of the folder where you want the virtual environment to be created in, okay? So in this case, I want to just write env like that, okay? So now, as you can see, you've got this folder, okay? You could have here, instead of env, you could have written an absolute path and just, you know, like desktop or whatever, okay? And that would be would have been created in the desktop, for example. But here, I'm creating this inside my folder, my projects folder, because I've got everything in one place, okay? So here, as you can see, I've got a bin folder, which is scripts on Windows. And here, I've got activate, the pip, Python, etc. In here, I've got my packages. On Windows, it's not lib Python 3.10, but it's just lib site packages. And of course, these packages are just for this specific project, this specific virtual environment, okay? So once you've created the virtual environment, you need to activate it. And you've got different commands for different operating systems. So for Linux and Mac, you've got source, then env. Bin activate, okay, like that. And for Windows, you can see on the screen the two different ways, okay? So you can see now at the beginning of the line, we have the name, like M of the virtual environment, the virtual environment that tells us that we are, use, we are actually inside, we're using the virtual environment. So basically now in the path environment variable for the current shell, which is the shell we are on, okay? There is the path to the Python and pip executables in here, okay? When we run Python, we run this. When we run pip, we run this, and not the system-wide ones, okay? In fact, if we run pip list, we just see the two default packages. We're not seeing all the packages installed in my system. And of course, if we install something like, if we install something like pandas, this is going to be installed just inside of our environment, not system-wide. As you can see using cached pandas, etc., because I've already installed it earlier, but you should see downloading stuff like that, okay? So now we've installed pandas in all the dependencies in our virtual environment. And if you see in here, freeze, you can see all the packages that we've installed manually. So freeze returns all the packages that we installed manually. As you can see, you don't have pip or other packages that were already installed, okay? So now we need to create an important requirements file, you know, where you can list all the packages and versions that you need for the project so that you or other people working on this project, maybe in the future, can install all the required packages with a single command, okay? So I'm gonna show you how you can create the, this file with a single command, but keep watching because I'm gonna explain you why after some research and from experience, this is not the best way of doing it, okay? So to actually save the requirements in a file, you can just do something like requirements.txt. Basically here you're telling, save the output of freeze in this file, okay? As you can see, you've got your requirements here, but you've got all the requirements, okay? So in this case, the requirement is just pandas, not all the packages that are installed automatically when installed in pandas, okay? Because this is a dependency of pandas, this is a dependency, etc. So these are installed basically by pandas because they are dependencies of pandas. Let's see an example to make things clearer, okay? So let's say that the version two of pandas comes out and the version doesn't require the package six anymore. So this is not required anymore, okay? But of course you don't know that because the package six was required by pandas 1.5. And of course it was installed and written in the requirements file as we've done it here, okay? Because we've saved the freeze output. So even if you were to create a new virtual environment or another person were to start working on this project, okay, and install everything from scratch, the six packets would still be installed, not because needed by pandas, but because we've written it as a requirement of our project, but this is not the case, okay? We don't need it. And this might cause problems in the future, okay? So the best way of creating the requirements file is doing it manually. So every time you install something, you're going to add the package and the version manually in the requirements.txt file. And like in this case, we would just need to add pandas like that. Okay, so just pandas because this is what we actually need, okay? And this would then download all the other dependencies automatically. And if you update something, you could add the new version in the requirements.txt file. So if we use the previous example, let's say that we update pandas to version two. Let's say that we've got version two here, like that, okay? 
And then as you will still have the six installed because you've updated the pandas packet, but you still have the, if you freeze like that, you still have six here. Let's say that here you've got two, but you still have six. So if you were to use the same method as above, as here, you will still have pandas 2.0.0 and then six down here, but this wouldn't be required anymore. Okay. Because of course this was installed with pandas 1.5. So you should delete the whole virtual environment and create a new one and install again everything, okay, as I'll show you later. And by doing this, you are sure that you won't have packages that are not required anymore because as you only have Pandas 2 as a requirement and not all the others, when installing it, Pandas won't install the package 6 anymore because Pandas doesn't need it anymore, okay? But if we left 6 in the requirements, the package 6 would still be installed, okay? I hope it makes sense. So before I show you how to install all the requirements with one command, we can deactivate the virtual environment just by writing deactivate like that. As you can see, you don't have env here. So this means that we're not in the virtual environment anymore. Then to test what I've said, just need to go up here, delete everything. Okay. Here I need to write a right version. Okay. But let's say that you've got version two. So let's say that here you've got lots of packages. You just need to create a new virtual environment. So Python like that. Then we need to activate it. Okay, we are using the virtual environment and then to install the packages from the requirements file, just need to do something like uh, requirements.txt, enter. Now, as before, it's using cached packages. It's not a problem. Okay, and now if we run freeze, so as you can see, even though we didn't have all the dependencies here, pandas automatically downloaded the, all the dependencies. So as I said, if here you had two, and maybe the six wasn't required anymore by deleting the virtual environment and creating it from scratch. And then having just pandas 2.0.0 in the requirements and not all the others. Here, you would have just those here. Here you would have two, and this wouldn't be here because this is not required anymore by pandas. So you would have just those and not this one anymore. I hope it makes sense. So now go and watch this other really interesting video about Python and don't forget to use virtual environments.